My name is Anne-Marie Bosshammer and I'm the Executive Director at the Nebraska Beef Council. Um, the majority of my time I am spending working on the promotion of beef, whether that's working from working with producers, packers, distributors, chefs, retailers, all the way to the consumer. And so my job is, I think, the best job that there is because I get to work with the entire beef industry from, from farm to fork, truly, and it really is a lot of fun. For me, there was really no other no other choice that I wanted to have than to go to the University of Nebraska and graduate from the Kasner College. Uh, my entire family went to the university and most of them graduated from Kasner, but I knew truly that the education that I would get in the Kasner College was going to afford me a lot of opportunities down the road. There is a tremendous opportunity for young people and anybody involved in agriculture, whether it's um, in the production side of our industry um, or in ag business. You know, Nebraska has so many wonderful resources from the land, the animals, to the people that have a great work ethic. And because we have that all right here in Nebraska, um, there is tremendous opportunity in whatever you want to do. Grow your future at the University of Nebraska. My name is Vicki Ray and I'm a 2006 graduate from the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and I currently work with Farm Credit Services of America as a credit analyst on our agribusiness finance team. At being a credit analyst we look at quite a few um, financials, um, spreads, um, we also do a lot of monthly monitoring for on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the other thing though that we do, that I have the opportunity to, to do, that I really enjoy is being able to interact with our producers, our customers, um, whether it be going out to their operations and meeting with them uh, and having the opportunity to gain a better understanding of the producers themselves, their operations, um, some of their, their the goals they have for their operations and maybe even the challenges they face. I chose the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources as the college I was going to go into because I, I've, I have a passion for agriculture. Um, it's what I've known and, and loved ever since I was a, a small child. The opportunities within Nebraska agriculture are countless. No matter what you want to do, whether it be production agriculture, agribusiness, uh, technology, genetics, whatever you want to do, I think that there is ample opportunity for you to pursue and seek out a fit that would, that would work for any individual with a passion for agriculture. Hi, my name is Dirk Birkin. I currently reside in Lincoln, Nebraska and I manage the University Research Feedlot at Meade, Nebraska. An average day of my job is uh, pretty hard to uh, discuss. I, I do a lot of bouncing around from uh, managing people. I jump into and do some animal health type stuff. I'll run a feed truck every now and then. There's a lot of management things with this feedlot. Being a research feedlot and a university owned property, I have to do a lot of communication. Uh, Kasner is a, is a special place for me. Uh, you get onto East Campus, it's a small town feel. Um, but then once you get in the classroom, you're with professors um, that are nationally known in a nationally known program uh, in the Animal Science Department. My advice for youth going into agriculture would be uh, to go out and, and try new things. Uh, Try, do internships, uh, see what's all out there, get out of your comfort zone um, and try new things. And then after that, choose your career path and go with it. Grow your future at the University of Nebraska. Jeff Pope from Ravenna, Nebraska, and I'm a livestock producer. Uh, we raise purebred cattle, we sell some bulls, also do a little farming, and uh, we sell some embryo recipient cows. It start, always starts with chores when you have animals, and uh, getting everybody fed, 
typically on in our operation there's embryo donors that need some shots or need, maybe need to be AI'd throughout the week. Uh, of course during calving season there's the calving duties of checking cows and tagging calves. Uh, during bull sale season you might need to meet with a customer to look at bulls. Uh, there's usually some telephone time involved uh, talking to your nutritionist or suppliers or or customers. Well I wanted to study animal science and uh, by the time I got to campus as a freshman I already knew a lot of the professors because I'd been on campus with some of the 4-H uh, projects and clinics and things and so I just felt very comfortable there and uh, at that time the animal science department had new facilities that were some of the best in the nation. Well, I chose my career because uh, I've always enjoyed farm life and being involved in production ag. I've always liked working with animals and uh, but also uh, owning my own business, being my own boss and uh, being involved with the management side of, of agriculture is something I've always enjoyed. Grow your future at the University of Nebraska. Hi, I'm Jeremy Martin from Hershey, Nebraska. I'm a consulting nutritionist with Great Plains Livestock Consulting. In my job, there's not very many average days. Um, it, it varies a lot. I spend a fair amount of time on the road, uh, but on any given day, I will be, you know, at two to four or five uh, producers' operations, um, anywhere from cow-calf to backgrounding to feedlot operations that vary a lot in terms of uh, their resources. I chose Kasner largely because of the faculty and the research programs. Um, in some ways my career chose me. Um, like a lot of animal science students I went to college uh, with my goal first and foremost to go to vet school. I, I think Nebraska agriculture is, is, uh, has got more opportunities than anywhere else. I think the biggest thing you can do as a young person if your goal is to be in agriculture, whether it be in production, sales, consulting, uh, any facet of agriculture, is just get involved now. Grow your future at the University of Nebraska. I'm Dr. Melissa Thompson. I live here in Gothenburg, Nebraska, and I work here at Eastside Animal Center. I'm a mixed animal veterinarian. On an average day, which, granted, the best thing about being a veterinarian, a mixed animal veterinarian is no one day's the same. You know, if this were the spring of the year and I was on call, I might have a calving or a C-section really early in the morning. Usually in the afternoons, or if the day calls for it, we're out ultrasounding most of the day. We do a lot of processing here, so that's involves like castrating and branding and vaccinating babies. I chose Kasner because as I was looking at colleges when I was in high school, I have known from day one that I wanted to be a veterinarian. That all the extra things that were offered by the university really helped me bec to become well-rounded and to you know, just prepare me for application and that process of um, kind of reaching towards vet school. I think that the most important piece of advice for a, 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 you know, a youngster that wants to become a veterinarian is just to get hands-on, hands-on, hands-on. Just seeing things, I think getting out there and seeing things, and that one of the best ways is just to ask your local vet, um, you know, can I, can I follow you? Can I help with something? Grow your future at the University of Nebraska. Spencer Bolte. I'm currently an investigator with USDA. Uh, I was a graduate of 2011, University of Nebraska, animal science, meat science option. Uh, an average day in my job, uh, usually it, it can realm from many different things, from food outbreak cases, uh, where there's some people getting sick in other parts of the country. There's 120 of us investigators nationwide that cover all 50 states, and we monitor the food supply once it leaves inspection. And so we go out into the, we do different uh, surveillance reviews at the different facilities to make sure that everything's properly marked and labeled. 
and then we conduct investigations if there were to be something wrong with that product and trace it back. Um, I chose Kasner as my college. Um, I, I pretty much grew up here on the campus with you know State Fair and Exarbin and coming here for different different activities, uh, pace and uh, livestock judging events. Coming here, I got to meet a lot of the professors then, and so it was pretty much just like being at home. You know, coming back here, and you already knew half the professors that were going to you know teach some of your classes, so you felt comfortable coming into a place like that. Uh, the opportunities I see in Nebraska agriculture. Um, span from many different areas from you know a lot of people don't think of meat science and we're the largest red meat producing state in the nation here in Nebraska and so there's so many job opportunities that people don't realize are out there. Grow your future at the University of Nebraska.